Uh, my name is Jason Pecco, and I am uh, the tech lead and project lead for Devil's Tuning Fork, a, a game that we worked on at uh, DePaul University for the Independent Games Festival Student Showcase. Yeah. Uh, for those unfamiliar with the game, do you want to just talk through it? Yeah. Um, the game is based on the concept of echolocation. So the player plays as a child who's been pulled into this other dimension, and it's the child's goal, or the player's goal, to rescue other children who've been pulled into the dimension as well. And the, the kicker is that you can't see normally, so you have to make sound and use other properties of sound to make your way through the, the world and to uh, rescue the children and get out yourself. Uh, so the game is basically, you, you've taken um, what most people consider essential in gaming, which is the ability to see, away from the player. How do you give them the tools to survive and progress? Um, so what we do is uh, we give the player the ability through the tuning fork, or the Devil's Tuning Fork, the name of the game, to uh, make noises themselves. So they can use the mouse to click the left mouse button or the right mouse button and they make uh, a regular sound which lights up the world. They uh, can make a, a low bass sound which uh, lights up the world but also allows you to see through objects. And then there's the concentrated sound where you hold and charge it up and that allows you to interact with bells, open doors, reflect off mirrors, stuff like that. What kind of mechanics do you have in there? Um, well, it, it's so what we wanted to do was like take the first-person shooter genre and sort of flip it on its head because we wanted a first-person immersive experience, but we didn't want the uh, we didn't want it to be a run-and-gun game. We didn't want a lot of violence, so we took a lot of the, the standard first-person elements like the movement and uh, some of the platforming elements, and we put it into our world and we gave the player a different way to interact with that world. So what platform is this currently on and what platforms are you aiming to get it on? Uh, right now it's on the PC only. Um, we do. There is a way to play it on Linux using Wine and we're actually going to be releasing a Mac version of it using Wine as well, all patches together. So that'll be all the free demo versions and then as far as in the future, you know, we'd love to put it on Steam or um, you know, potentially XBLA or PSN. It's, it's sort of up in the air right now. A, a Wii port? Uh, a Wii port would be great. I mean, we, we need to get the, the uh, tools to do so, but uh, I, I think a Wii port would really be uh, really more, a little bit more immersive as well with the, the controls. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you.